Hey, hello everyone, this is Kedar here and today I'm going to show you some of the amazing features of the latest Windows 11 build that is the 22.100. Now I must have to say these changes are really amazing and I'm really impressed by these changes. Talking about the first one, well now this is a Microsoft chat. You have options to chat with your friends, family members, also with your teams. Here you just have to sign in with your Microsoft account to get started and you have your contacts. By the way, anyone remember iMessage from macOS? Well, you can clearly see Windows is trying to catch up with the global standard. By the way, this option might not be visible to all the people. Right over here, there is an invite button to invite your family members and other people. In the settings, you can customize your appearance, general looks and layout and other stuff like that. So the next change is coming up from this small flyout window onto the bottom side. So you can see as per the theme, personalized, the flyout window is uh, in a black color. Now going into the personalize, we are going to personalize the theme and here you can see the choosing the first one will change the flyout window to the white one. As for the theme you set, the flat windows will be personalized. The next change is from the notifications. You can see the focus assist settings can be directly accessed from the notification center. You know, rather than accessing it from the settings and the tedious way, it is available in the notification panel. On to the bottom corner, you can see the change. If I set to the priority only, alarms only, and turning it off, looks like this. Okay, so the next feature is coming from the Microsoft chat, you know, the synchronize contact button is added so you can synchronize your contact from your phone to your windows. Just need to scan up the QR code into your mobile phone app. So the next change is coming from, you know, the taskbar. When you launch any application, you see the pop-up icons in your taskbar. For example, I launched the Avast and you can see the popping up icon and right below that there is a indicator which shows you the current status of your application now, this design element grabs your attention without you know distracting you and whenever app requires attention it will give you a red dot underneath your app icon they call it as a pill underneath the app icon so when i maximize the app you can see the pill gets bigger and it gets smaller if i minimize it moving over to the next change here you can see in the personalization touch keyboard now, if you open up the keyboard, rather than covering up entire screen with the keyboard, now it's much smaller and minimized, so it looks much neater in my opinion. Also, you can drag this keyboard and it won't look you know, distracting like the previous one. Going into the settings, we can see bunch of features like keyboard layout, so default one is like this. A small one seems like an Android keyboard. Also, we have this one. If you are using this in a tablet mode, this can be really handy, you know. And going into the another layout, you can see this one is our normal one. Also, going into the handwriting, you know, you have a drawing option so you can draw with your stylus. Uh, you know, Microsoft is planning to sell a stylus. And also, you can draw with your mouse as well. And it recognizes your gestures pretty good, you know. Uh, my handwriting is not that great so you know you can swipe this to erase it also you have a bunch of other personalization option so we can change the keyboard looks and other stuff like that also by the way if you want to give the feedback to the microsoft you can also do that from the settings right over here give feedback here in the settings we have options to change the language if you use your stylus very frequently, you know, you can use this button to maximize this touch area. So you can use your stylus pretty great like a notebook. And the provided UI options will give you lots of possibilities to work with. Next one was kind of a missing in the previous build. It is the show desktop. I think this is an essential feature to, you know, get onto your desktop from any place. Talking about the next change, well, it is not great. You can see the drag and drop feature is now disabled, at least for right now, you know. I hope they will enable this feature in the upcoming builds, but yeah. As of right now, you can't drag and drop anything into the taskbar. 
applications and things like that so everyone is waiting for the android apps in the microsoft store and looks like we have to wait for more time but there are a couple of good changes over here previously it was so glitchy now you can see the transitions look so awesome if you open up any application for installation you know it looks really good and it pops up like thus you know by all the changes i can clearly conclude windows 11 will be much greater in coming future that's all for today's video guys please do hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and i will catch you in the next one goodbye